Hello everyone, my name is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in my today's video, we'll try to understand the difference between RAG and the fine-tuned models. So retrieval, augmented generation and fine-tuning. So these are the two different approaches which we use to enhance the capabilities of large language models. But what is the difference between them and when to use them? Today, we'll try to understand that. So let's understand these concepts with the help of example. So imagine we have a medical information chatbot which is designed to answer the queries based on the medical data. So user asks this question, uh, what are the latest treatments for type 2 diabetes? First, let's understand how a LLM model which is fine-tuned on medical data will reply to this question. So fine-tuned model means we take a pre-trained LLM which can be any LLM like Llama, Mistral, Gemma, GPT 3.5, GPT 4 or any other LLM. Just take any pre-trained LLM and then we train it on our specific data set and in this case our specific data set is medical data set. So once you have a fine-tuned model, that model will just rate responses based on the knowledge it gets during the training phase. So it means it can only answer the questions based on the data on which it was trained on. So when user asks this question, what are the latest treatments for type 2 diabetes? So in this case, if the model was trained with the recent medical data, it might provide you current uh, and accurate answer. But if the model was trained a while ago, then it might not have the latest information, right? Now let's see how RAG handle this. So retrieval augmented generation or RAG allow us to provide external up-to-date knowledge to the model. This means even if the base LLM hasn't been trained on the very latest information, RAG can provide the latest information to the model and then model can generate answers on the basis of that new information. And the process to provide this external information is very simple. We just upload the latest information and then retriever performs its functionality and provide the retrieved document to LLM and then LLM generate response. So for example, when the same question, what are the latest treatments for type 2 diabetes is asked to this medical chatbot, which is powered by RAG, here the LLM will generate a response based on this fresh data, which we provided to LLM through RAG. So the key benefit of RAG is that you can instantly update the knowledge base by just uploading few documents and it can provide you responses based on the latest data without needing to retrain the LLM models. So here you can see this is the response of medical board which is fine-tuned on medical data and on the other side this is a response of medical board which used RAG. Now let's take another example. Suppose if a new regulation is passed or a new discovery is made, then RAG can easily integrate this information immediately in its responses, right? But fine-tuned model requires a retraining to integrate this new information. So retraining can be resource intensive and time consuming. For example, to include the latest medical treatment, the model must be retrained with the new data that includes the latest research findings. So RAG is best for situations where you need the most current information. So for example, news related apps where news changes daily, right? And here you can use RAG. And another example is legal cases and regulations. So we know that the law and legal cases are frequently updated and here RAG can fetch the latest legal text for example if somebody asks the question what are the new data uh, privacy regulations right so with the help of rag you can train your llm on the latest uh, legal information then your chatbot can reply to the questions which are based on very recent topics all right so on the other hand fine-tuned models are suitable for scenarios like suppose if somebody wants to make a product recommendation system so suppose e-commerce platforms want to recommend products uh, based on users preferences and behavior here you can uh, fine-tune the LLM on the historical purchase data and the user interactions 
which can enhance the recommendation accuracy. So like this guys, you can use RAG and fine tuning for different use cases. Both RAG and fine tuning each have their strengths depending upon your needs. I hope this video helps you clarify the difference between the RAG and the fine tuned models. So thank you for watching and if you like my content, please like, share and subscribe my channel.